Hi guys, so today I'm going to be trying out some of the new uh, pieces of the Spellbinders collection for Halloween. Um, some of these are open house and some of them are a little bit different, but it's just uh, part of their new Halloween releases. So uh, thank you so much Spellbinders, I did send these items free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own. Any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I would make a small commission if you were purchased items to those links. Um, so we can discuss here the open house stuff so this uh, little set that you see here is um, actually just called open house boo <laughs> and it'll go back to the open house dies which I have here next to me but um, in a different way so of course the little door die and things and then like I said they have different things to dress this guy up with we have some harvest things you know with Halloween items and so on so for now, what I'll probably do is cut this um, because I've, I think I've already used this a couple times in different tutorials. So I'll just have this ready and then we're going to decorate it up with the um, new Halloween uh, dies here. But we have the numbers 3 and 1. It could be 13, it could be 31, however you want to use those. And then above the door, it has this really sweet web. So it has the inlay and then, of course, just the outer portion if you want to layer them up or however you want to use it. And then some other cute little decorative items um, depending on what you have or how you want to use it the little inlays and these little pieces here that can again dress up your uh, door however again the number is 13 or 31 we have um, the little uh, bat and the little uh, skulls which are so cute oh my gosh maybe I should close up because I love that it cuts three at one time and then the little skulls fit in here and um, if you want and it just looks really adorable and then the little um, step part or stoop I don't know how you want to look at it um, that has the hey boo if you want to use that or just use the step itself and that's an inlay there and then uh, this set here is uh, sorry guys oh. when I was moving on to this one I just realized this is the open house boo I'm sorry and this is Halloween okay because <laughs> I remember the characters I think be the one called boo so this one has the word spooky and uh, greetings and then you have the little bats we have lots of different sized um, uh, ghosts here they're super cute I love the jack-o'-lantern we'll talk about that in just a minute the little cat and he's got his little tail um, <laughs> they can go either way so that's really sweet um, position it however you like as far as the tail and look at these little jack-o'-lanterns so they have their little faces you know you're gonna cut them out um, then we have these pieces that you can lay in the back of it to light it up or however you want it to look on the inside if you want black or yellow or orange or whatever um, so you have that and then the little toppers too so you have the little top of the pumpkin or the jack-o'-lantern that you can cut this out like in a brown or green or whatever color and then put this little piece on top of that that coordinates back to the actual pumpkin color super cute I this set is just adorable and this last one here um, it's called let's be frank it doesn't have to do with the open house door but very nice sized pieces as you can see um, it has you know your little witch hat it has the buckle the little um, part for your brim now I'm not sure if it goes this way or this way maybe that way uh, we'll play with that in a minute possibly um, little eyes the little bolts and things for our Frank here um, and then like little witch legs which I just think is so cute so um, and then of course the little different pieces that you might need for your little Frank character so what I'm gonna do is grab some papers and we will just get started I plan on making maybe some cards maybe a little tag or maybe a hidden paper clip we'll see but um, let me grab some papers and we'll get to it okay guys so I have pretty much the original door stuff down from open house again this also works with always welcome if you have that large die of the month from I think it was last October or sometime um, so I cut those basic things and I stuck them down so just um, again the same as we've done in the past um, so for this one I am going to cut at least one of the bats I'm not sure if I need more than that because um, just depends on how you want to play with that so I'll have that cut out just a black paper um, the little skulls and some of the ghosts from the other set I'm gonna cut out probably these guys with this kind of shimmery paper just to make it fun so I'll have that and then we'll run through these guys and we'll have three all at once um, the numbers uh, 13 I'm gonna cut and I think I'm gonna cut them from this glittery paper just to be a little more fancy <laughs> And then, um, so the window, that little top part, I'm going to cut just the way I cut, like, these other windows. So I have this black shiny paper here. Where is it? That's back here. <laughs> Put it on my stool for some reason. So I'm just going to cut um, this guy out with the inlay. So it'll look just like this. It has, like, the black shininess. And then I'm just going to cut this out of yellow paper. 
Okay, and then we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. Okay. So our little guy. Oh, that is so cute. Look how it cuts the little extra kind of detail in there. All right. And we have our little guys here. So if you want to um, go ahead and put like something in the back of the little eyes, I mean, it looks fine just like that too, but I would just take like a little snippet of black paper and put a little glue. I'll do it for both of these little guys. Just a little glue around there and maybe this is big enough. Maybe I need to cut another piece. I just kind of eyeballed that. Pretty good. All right. I'll do the same thing for the other little guy. And then let's pop out one of our skulls. Oh, <laughs> those are all the little holes that pop out. Look how adorable <laughs> that is. Oh my gosh. Super cute. And I'm just going to attach that to one of my little guys here. Now, of course, that can be its own little thing, you know, flying around these little uh, bats with skull faces. Oh my gosh. Um, you can use that as a decoration for the top of your door, which is what I'm going to do today. So I have this paper, just some striped paper, just to make it look especially kind of crazy. I mean, this side's cute too, but we use this one. And I cut it to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Of course, if you don't like working in eighths, you can do five and a quarter by four, or you can just cover the whole thing completely without having the little matte edges. But I like having a little bit of an edge around my card. And one last thing I do need to do is make the little um, step. But let's get this guy. And so, oh, you know, that's the last thing I need to cut. I'm going to get the little black vinyl kind of shiny piece and go ahead and um, adhere it on here with that little kind of uh, web look that it has. And then as far as the step, I think what I'm going to do is, let's see. A little bit of light gray here. Um, I'm going to cut this out of light gray paper. Of course, tape down so it's going to have that inlay cut out of it. And then I'm going to take this and just cut out of purple paper. So the purple is what shows through with the hey boo. And then from the original set, we have this little strip that also helps you add like another strip of color if you want to use it or not. So I'm going to take this and cut it from the darker gray paper and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have my pieces here. We're going to put this on top of this. Super cute. And then just that accent strip again if you want to use it or not, but it does make it pop. So... I will put a little glue here. Oh, <laughs> that's wonderful. There we go. And put that there. I'm going to hold this down for a little bit. And I'll be right back. Actually, in the meantime, I'm also going to go ahead and glue down the 13 here. So I'm going to let these things set up and then we'll start putting our card together. <laughs> so cute. And I'll put the three over here. All right, guys. So let's start putting um, this together. And I think I'm going to put everything flat because the little cute things that I'm going to, you know, the ghosts and stuff is what I'm going to pop up. So I'm going to place this down the bottom, just kind of centered as well as I can center that. And then our door. But of course, as much dimension as you want to give it, that's great too. Just a little more this way. Just because of those black stripes that I have there, I figure I should just kind of center in between there. And then this guy is going to go here. And I think... I'm going to put this down here if I want to use it, but I do. So I'm going to do it that way. Like, oh, you know, I should have mentioned this is a standard A2 size card. That's why it's a little snug on the fit. And also I took some of the size away down here. So if I brought it down, it would have been right on there, but that's okay. All right. And then I'm going to put this here. 
And I'm bringing it down a little bit into the door. Normally we put it above the door, but I'm putting it right here. And then we have some little bits to play with here. And yeah, perfect. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, I am going to fight with this 3D glue gel. And try to get some of that going. And I will be right back. I'm going to place uh, 3D glue gel behind all the different little characters. And we'll go from there. All right. So cute. And so I'm just going to put this little guy here. A little bit popped up. He has some dimension there. And then we have our little ghosts. Now. <laughs> you can make one coming out of the little door. That'd be really sweet. The um, mail slot. This guy going that way. There we go. Sweet. I love the colors on this. Just It's just kind of creepy and spooky and it's just a cute pop of color with that purple. I like it. All right. So there's um, a cute little card made with the um, add-on for the open house door. And um, on the next one, I'm going to try the boo set as far as the little jack-o'-lanterns. They are too precious. I will be right back. Right, okay, guys. So for this one, um, I think I'm going to make a little treat bag. I was thinking about what I want to do, like a little tag or something. So I think this will be really sweet. I'm going to take this spooky greetings and cut it out of that black shiny paper so we'll have our little lettering from this awesome paper here and then I just grabbed whatever's in like my scrap pile of different oranges and I grabbed a little bit of green so even gold came out with that one but um, I'm just going to take a few of these I'm gonna cut them all out and we might use them all we might just use a couple but you know why not so uh, I think these two oranges are the same so I can retire this one <laughs> Uh, let's go with that one, maybe. Maybe this one's a little maize color. And so the biggest and the smallest one, or the largest and the smallest one, will make the same orange. That guy will be a little bit different color. Um, all these bits here, I'm going to cut from this brighter yellow. Hopefully that works out. And then, um, since I am making them different colors, I'm going to run this through twice this part, the part that has the little texture and like the little cap through the, the bright orange and then also through that mazy color orange and then these guys I'm going to run them all through this green paper. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have some different pieces here. I have my little spooky greetings. I need to pop out some pieces from that. And then these little guys and let's see how this works. So I can go right on there. Oh my gosh. So uh, super cute. So what happens is that you can then, um, let's say we just glued this down straight like that. And then we have our little pumpkin top. Oh my gosh. Of course, my fingers don't ever want to pick things up anymore. And you have a space there to lay it right on and you can make a piece that sits on its own or stands on its own. Um, and then of course that little topper bit. So let me just glue that part down. So we have this, and then we have this little guy that nestles on top of that. <laughs> so cute. But if you want it to look like it's open, what I would do is just trim away that piece. So um, I'll show you what I... You can mark it with a pencil, I suppose. Just lining this back up. And for me, I would eyeball it. <laughs> so like from in here. I'm just going to cut some of that off. And that way it can appear to be open. And, and I don't know what I'm going to do with my design. Maybe I should have waited to cut it, but that's okay. So that's really nice. I do like that it has the ability to kind of stand on its own or do it like this. So now we have these two little pieces that can be popped open. Oh my gosh. Um, I'll put, I'll make this one closed. And all that means, again, is just putting this behind it, putting together our two little middle sized pieces and gluing it right on there. And maybe I'll leave this guy open. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our pieces. And I just have this little glassine bag, which I'm always like never sure how to do these. So should it go this way? And that's how you close it? <laughs> because the um, seam is in the back. So for me, I would want to go this way, but then that doesn't look right, you know? So I'm going to decorate this front part and then Oh, maybe I'll even tie it with twine just to look even cuter. 
But I'm just going to take this little craft bag and decide where I want to put everybody. <laughs> so cute. And then like spooky greetings. And it'll just be like a little um, gift bag. So I'm going to stick these down. Of course I'm going to put glue on the back of my hand because these are very delicate. That's just what I like to do. Of course, whatever method you like to stick things down with is great. And... That's cute like that. And these little guys, I think I'll just glue down. And maybe I'll pop that one on the top, just with like a little bit of dimensional. So cute. This little guy. I'm just kind of eyeballing where this guy would be. Yeah. Put that guy there. <laughs> They're flipping their lids here. And then. I'm going to put a little dimensional adhesive on the back of this and I'll be right back to a little 3D glue gel on that one. Something like that. And then I do have these little skulls. I might add them on here somewhere. <laughs> How cute. Aww. You can also put them in among the little patch, <laughs> which is really sweet. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Alright, I have a little glue still in the back of my hand. I'll use that. And put this little guy here. And I did cut everything all in one pass. You know, even in my small machine I had my little, um, all the pieces. The only time I had to do a second pass was to get the, um, the little top of this lid in a different color. So, worked up pretty quickly. Super sweet. Let's try out the Let's Be Frank set. Okay guys, for this one I think I'm going to make the Frankenstein um, and we'll just go from there. So I'm going to get the little Frankenstein head. What's interesting, I was looking at it, I'm like, what is this and this? And I think what it is is that this it just gives an extra like added layer that makes him look kind of like this. <laughs> if you can see my face, I hope you know what I'm talking about. We'll try it out. So both of those in green paper, I have some black paper for his little hair and then we have the little nuts and bolts and eyeballs I think those are all the pieces for him so the bolts I'm going to cut from the silver paper and then the little eyes also from the black paper and I will be right back okay guys so let's get these little our main part out and I think what I'm going to do also is maybe do a little a little distressing which I normally don't do but I think it'll be really cute with this project so there's little eyes and then we have our little bolts here and I'm going to grab a finger dauber and some green ink and I'll be right back. I'm going to use this evergreen, just like a very green color and just kind of go around and just add a little texture to him on this one and on this guy and I'll be back. Okay, and I apologize for any noise you hear in the background. I actually am having some yard work done. Usually it's the neighbors you hear, but okay, I'm going to pop these guys on here, and then, so cute, oh my gosh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put his little hair down, and you know, you can take black ink and go around this, it will be noticeable, I know you think, okay, black on black, but it will be um, pretty noticeable if you want to distress that too, and I'm just going to put this on his little head here, I'm going to get a little gobs of glue on the back of this, and I will be right back. So we're going to put this on here so he pops up. But before that, I'm just going to put a little glue here and put his little eyeballs on. <laughs> These are so cute. So if you look at it, one eye is kind of like round, and the other, guy, the other eye is more like an oval. And there are little areas there that show you exactly where those should go. And I'm just going to put it like that. If you want to run the same die through again and make 
white centers on his eyes, you can definitely do that. You can come in with a glue pen and just, a glue pen with a white gel pen and just draw that in too, or however you want to do that. But uh, for now, let me get some um, three-dimensional adhesive on the back of this and I'll be right back. A little dimension on the back of that. Oh my gosh. So cute. And even when I went to pick it up, I actually kind of beveled it and that actually looks really, really good. How sweet! Okay, so um, I have this card base again, standard A2 size card base. I'm just gonna put, put, pop, pop this paper on here. Oh, this side's cute too. Well, we're gonna put it on this side, and this one is cut, I believe, four by five and a quarter. So this one is in quarters, and I think what I'm gonna do is glue him down right here, and then. Um, We'll use like our little. Sorry, we'll use this spooky greetings. I'll pick a color to cut this out in, probably silver, right? And bring a little silver in, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Also, in the meantime, I grabbed some little sequins mix I have. So I'm again gonna put glue on the back of my hand. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Stick that down. Um, he's gonna be about right there, so I'll put this. I'm not gonna stick it down quite yet until I have an idea of where this should go. Something like that. Okay, and I'm gonna stick this on this side, and then I'll put a little 3D um, glue behind him and glue that down too. Just put a little 3D glue gel behind him, so he's kind of popping out there too. And dimensional adhesive, like I said, of whatever type you like, that'll work. And I always like to put the sequins down like in groups of like three. So maybe what I'll do is like just put some little glue here, and I'll just kind of dig through here and pop down whatever it is that I want to. Have some smaller bits. This one's cute. And Okay, I'll do the same thing on this one and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there's a few uh, fun little projects with uh, these new uh, Halloween die sets that Spellbinders brought out. So thank you so much Spellbinders for saying, for saying these for my review. Thank you guys for watching. I'll have the links in the description box and I'll have some images for you guys to check out and just really sweet cards. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Those little jack-o'-lanterns are adorable. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.